All right, Lawrence in the building. What's going on, man? What's going on with your brother just out here on this tab, slab making it do what it do? Oh, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. Uh, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. I really do appreciate you uh, you coming on, man. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we you you are another uh, uh, member of the uh, Zello group that we uh, met. So far, I had a I had a few fellow uh, Zello alums on here so far. Uh, okay, okay. You, you know, I had. Uh, uh precious you know her by gg uh right on nah nah i just had her on uh recently uh okay of course uh let me see nikki uh nikki pointer yeah had her on. oh okay so uh so yeah man uh yeah a lot of you know a lot, right. of, a lot of alums alums and now uh my man lawrence uh yo uh K Love, you know she's a regular on the show. So uh, okay, so uh, hit hit that uh, hit that radio voice, man. Uh, when you and K Love used to uh, you used, used to do <laughs> back in the day, man. Hit, you, you you still remember that? Good morning, KWTTC one hundred five point one Trucker Talk Radio, the only Corona free station worldwide. <laughs> That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up, man. Yeah, we we used to have some, uh, you know, like I like I told like I told the alums, you know, before you know before everything uh, went left. But we we really we really had some some good times in uh, trucker kings and queens back in the day, man. Uh, oh yeah, absolutely. What, I mean, what keeping you, each other safe. Yeah, what what was your what what was your experience? Uh what was your experience with it back in the day, man? I mean, like I said, it was great because like if you was a little tired or, you know, I don't uh, allow myself to get bored, but you know, if you have nothing to do, you hit the channel, you hear somebody on, and it's on and cracking and then, you know, we sharing all types of different information about the trucking industry, about things that are going on, maybe a accident somewhere or some weather problem somewhere it was great all right absolutely yeah we we like i said we 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 had some uh we had some good times uh good times good conversations uh that was generated out of uh out of trucker kings and queens too uh, as a matter of fact uh steven b the 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 the, the host of the of the uh, zello channel uh uh, just uh how can i call him uh, a guru a young guru what what what, what can we call stephen b man because i mean he man. had a vast i mean the man for 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 his age man he he had vast knowledge of of the trucking you know of trucking and the industry as a whole what's what's your uh what, what was your opinion of him back in the day well, I mean, Steve had a, a, a very unique understanding of trucking, and that is due in part to the influence of his grandfather, who was also a trucker. So, you know, he would go with his grandfather when he was a youngster, and he was learning and watching, and, you know, children tend to soak up things, some things that they shouldn't, but in this case, I guess he became fond of it, and when you when you love something... You want to know everything. So that's, you know, Steve grew up in trucking. And then when he got big enough, hey, he made it He made it his reality. Exactly, exactly. Uh, shout out to uh, Stephen B, man. Uh, of course, he was, uh, he, he was the reason behind uh, uh, young trucker and old girl getting their success uh, in, in uh, trucking. Um, it's unfortunate what happened to uh, to young trucker. Rest in peace. Um, yes, yes, yes. I just found out about that a uh, couple of days ago, actually, because yeah. uh, I have friended uh, I have friended her, mm -hmm. and then I saw her 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 uh, profile picture, and I looked at the name. I thought it might have been a grandfather, of, and mm -hmm. I looked at the name, and I was like, Oh my God! Yeah, yeah. She has a you know she has a. a a, a profile picture of her uh of her late 
Hus- I'm, I'm going to say I, I I'm not sure if they was like still boyfriend and girlfriend, but I'm I'm going to say yeah, that. they were they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, yeah I believe her, so. Her significant other, but they've been together for a right. long, for for a uh, a long time. And man, I, I was so proud of them too, man. You know, mm-hmm. out here young, uh, getting this trucking thing down. You know, they was learning from their mistakes right. because they had been over at uh, a particular company, mm-hmm. and when they found out that they could have got that same load for, for uh, probably more, more money way more i mean like three times as much they was pissed oh, and yeah. that's when they went and that's when they went and did something about it but yeah man i was really really proud of those two but again like you said shout out to uh young trucker and his lady you know i i I'm still proud of him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm still. You know, like I said, me, me and uh, old girl. You know, we kind of, we, we kind of bumped heads and all like that. But again, I, you know, she, you know, she was, a, you know, very outspoken uh, young lady. And you know, like I said, young trucker was just, you know, was just a chill kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? And when Gigi told me uh, what happened when I had her on the show, I, I. I was just floored. I was like, no. She was like, yeah, he, uh, you know, I, I, you know, I asked her, you know, we, we talked about uh, what happened, but, you know, the, you know, just out of respect for o- old girl, we, we didn't talk about it on, you know, on the show because I, wanted, okay, okay. You know, I wanted to, you know, I, you know, I, I, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm just going to hold up. You know, and I'll reach out to her, you know, later, you know, down the line whenever, you know, when she's uh, feels up to, you know, up to talking about it. But as far as, you know, talking about it outside of talking to her, you know, I, it's a respect thing and I just won't do that. But I will pay my respect to the guy because I really did like him. You know what I'm saying? He was, he, he you know, he had a chill vibe in the you know in never meet him in person but no I absolutely never, right i never met him in person either but you know from the conversations that we had because both of them when they came into the group looking for advice uh Stephen b just pretty much took them up under their wing and you know they was with uh if i'm not mistaken they was with klm at first and, right and right and Stephen b was like Nah, man, I, I, I got to help you guys get your own authority. I got to help you guys get your own truck. And, and it just, you know, and they just, you know, got success from there. So definitely shout out to Stephen B, man, because like I said, if any if anybody, you know, that needs some help, he's he's always, always there. You know, I mean, it, it's a lot of things that we didn't agree upon. Yeah, and and it's so funny. I'm passing a KLM truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, man. So again, man, shout out to uh, Stephen B, man. Uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna try and reach out to him. And, uh, definitely, I'm still counting some mountains right here, bro. Oh, okay. Hopefully, it won't cancel me again. Okay, okay but well, I'm, I think well, we're good. Well, if it does, if it does, you know, we'll just keep we'll, we'll just keep it up, man. So. Uh yeah 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 definitely uh memory lane with uh with uh with the Zello uh unfortunate unfortunately what happened at the end was kind of was kind of ugly but um but still but still uh good times good times um absolutely I you know I I I didn't want to bring this up but um you did go to that meet and greet back in the day when there was another female trucker that was in our group for uh for a period of time and it 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 kind of got convoluted from what i heard about um being that you was there uh, at that particular meet and greet, um, I forgot her name. What what was her name? What was her name? Which one are you talking about? Because I went to the one, like I went to the truck show in Dallas, uh, right. me and my wife. Right. And then we went to, they had set up a Airbnb close to my parents' house, 
over in Arlington. Now I went to that. I went to that function. Yeah, that, if, the, I, if that's the one. The, I, I think that's the one where she kind of bounced out of our group and pretty much set it up in another group, and 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 did the meet and greet there. Uh. I forget her name. Okay, she, I'm not. I'm not. She used to. She used to drive for JB Hunt. I think she was from Missouri, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you talking about? Um, uh, I can't even call the name now. I know, right? I know, right? But it was. I. Uh, uh I think you was there. Uh, yeah, I was there. Uh, uh, um. Oh, young. Uh, uh, young well, I see. Ace, uh, Ace was there. Ace, Ace, Ace was there. Ace came. Um, Zane, uh, Zane was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Jay, uh, Jay was there. Yeah, that that one right there, man. Now that uh, that particular event. Uh, <laughs> how? How was the vibe there? Because I I know the vibe at the, I know the vibe there was was pretty chill. The man, the I mean, it was it was great. The controversy didn't come till after that. But the and see, I didn't know I didn't know anything. I still to this day haven't really heard mm -hmm. about what happened because uh, uh, my man Collins. I didn't. I haven't talked to him because he was one of the people that that rented the ha the 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 house. Mm -hmm. But I had I didn't ever reach out to him to find out anything. But I mean the vibe was great, man. The house was beautiful, um, and it had a real big backyard where we were at mm -hmm. uh, doing the activities. And you know we had uh, somebody brought a uh, uh, a karaoke machine. I think okay. shout out to I think it was I think that was Mel. That was Sh Shamel. Uh, okay. 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 And uh, man, and it's like people got up and sang. My wife got up and sang. Uh, I think even old Ace tried to do something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, Ace, what Ace tried to do? One of the Gladys Knights in the Pips? What, what he was trying man. to do? <laughs> man, I, I don't even remember what he sang, man. But he was in the moment. And uh, but man, we had so much food. Uh oh. At, my, at least from my vantage point. No strife or no arguing. Everybody was just getting along, and then we kind of that old school versus new school with the singing and the. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. I had a, I had a really great time. All right, yeah, yeah. I I, I, I wanted to I wanted to go, but unfortunately I couldn't uh, I couldn't uh, link up there. But I think the uh, the the whole the whole vibe there was all chill. The controversy didn't come until after uh after the thing went down and i guess since you don't know much about it and like i said this is all from speculatory all from hearsay and all like that so i i guess i won't uh speak on it either but you 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 came away meeting some meeting some good people there though right meeting some good people and meeting people that i've always over the last just like with collins mm -hmm. i've been knowing collins five years prior to the event but I never met him in person. Okay, okay. You know, so it was finally good to put faces with voices, and you know, it was it was really good. It was a really good meet and greet for truckers, and I'm hoping that in the future that there'll be trucker groups created, or there'll be trucker groups that already exist that'll have as good a, a function and turnout as we had. Cause man, it was so much food. They wanted me to take it because everybody else was from out of town. And they was like, <laughs> man, what I'm going to do with, it was whole pans of ribs left macaroni and cheese man. pans full of ribs and everything. There was plenty of drink left. We could have, we could have had a whole another party off the leftovers. <laughs> you said just from leftovers, y'all could have had a whole another man, party. Yeah. People was maxing on this food, bro. Everything was well prepared. It was delicious, you know. Had great presentation. Uh, it was, it was, it was great. It was really great. I had, I, I don't know if it's just because I don't hardly go nowhere. I just had a good time, but it was, it was great. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, Lawrence, man, uh, th th tell the people uh, where you come from. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit of background about yourself. 
Uh, well, I was originally born in California. I was born in uh, Linwood, California, St. Francis Hospital. Uh, shortly after that, about six months, we moved to Texas. My parents had already had a home All right. How, how are we looking over there? Man, you sound radio ready, bro. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so uh, where he left off? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you was telling, yeah. you was telling us where uh where you where you came from. Uh, how did you uh, how uh, what 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 you was doing before you got into trucking? Uh, I drove uh the city bus in Los Angeles for like eleven years. Oh. Okay, I'm, I know you got some stories from that, man. <laughs> man, stories. I be, I had been teasing before I left. I should. I was going to write a book because people would not believe the type of stuff that happens on the bus in L.A. Now, this is man. This, this is Los Angeles, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, Hollywood, you know, bathing Ho suits, uh, skinny, uh skinny fit people on the bus yeah what 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 would what, give give us uh give, give give us one of your wildest moments on the bus man I, let me go through the mental roller decks because i got 11 years worth of stuff oh god damn so it's like man uh off the top of my head i had a a, a transvestite get on the bus okay and and then all of a sudden these two young ladies got on the bus and they they nudged the guy with a big old bag and he start they start going back and forth. Okay. Uh, you know the the little girl was snapping at the older guy and the older guy was snapping it. All of a sudden the transvestite was like, "I'm finna put my foot in your behind," you know. Oh, okay. Bus, he's like, "Bus driver, you want me to put your, my foot?" I was like, "I don't care what you do, as long as you do it 51 feet away from this bus, so I don't have to report it." <laughs> Oh, you know, man. I mean, just just craziness, man. You know, and then you got you got uh, a lot of the, the the homeless population. They ride because I used to work night shifts. Mm -hmm. I used to what we call them owls. So I was out there from like seven at night till six in the morning. Mm -hmm. And you know, if it was inclement weather or you know whatever raining, yeah, I would let them. I would let them ride because they ain't got nowhere to go. But right. you know, is this is still a business? You, you know what I mean? You you so you drove a bus, so you, you, you got your uh class B. Did you did you get your class B through uh through a school at that time or you, you got it when you got into the bus uh industry? Well I started I've been driving commercially since ninety five when I first got a school bus license mm -hmm. and a school bus certificate. And then after that I got my uh I went to uh over the road charter work. Um dealing with buses and then i went to the to the metro and then after that that's when i went to school i went to uh uh ait which was american institute of technology truck driver training they're out of uh phoenix but uh i went to the a location that was in gardena at the time okay so so at so at the doing uh doing your time on the buses before you got your class A, did you 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 did say you went to school to get your class B or did you get it when No, you know? I went I got my class B uh when I was driving school buses. I got my class A right before I relocated to to Texas, back home to Texas. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So so you didn't have to go to school or anything like that just to get your class B. All you had to do is just at that time No, I no, all we had to do is uh, lay law took us, you know, you could hire on and they they did the training and, you know, they made sure that you were ready for your testing and mm -hmm. and and went, and went from there. What's the you know, there's a debate uh, that I that that was going around for a minute. Uh, class B versus class A. Uh, you know, me and you are professional truck drivers and as a truck driver that that has done both uh class b and class a work uh what is the you know what is the i know this is a stupid question but what what is the but 
what is the marginal differences between the two classes? I mean, you know, I, it's a stupid question for me, but it might not be a stupid question for the new people that's thinking about uh, which route should they go, whether they should well, go class A or class B. Well, back in the old days, a class B license was basically called a chauffeur license, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So the difference is with a class A, you're basically operating two vehicles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with a class B, you might have a commercial piece of equipment, but it's a one piece. Like when I drove the city bus, mm -hmm. like even back in the day, back in the early 2000s, Orange County had a class A bus. It was a day cab pulling a 40 foot trailer. It was a, it was a commuter bus that would come from Orange County to go downtown. It was the 721. And you had to have a, a, a class A to drive that because it had a truck and it had a trailer. They used to call it a cattle hauler. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, and, it, was, uh, but it, it was a bus though. It was, con it was, it was considered a bus, even though it was still, two different vehicles. It was a semi trailer, right? Okay. And then they eventually got rid of it because it was just to move people from Orange County that worked downtown Los Angeles. All right. And and eventually they got rid of it. All right. So so with a class B, uh and class B is I I'm not gonna say it's limited. I mean you you really could find some good jobs with uh with a class B license. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But with class, but with class B, you still had to get your passengers uh, endorsement in order to uh, move passengers around on your license, right? What is right? I mean, what I still have it on there. What's the difference, though? Because there's there's been some people that was kind of like you know like they can get away with like say like the passengers, like if it's 16 or more you have to have the endorsement right but it's 16 it's, i think or i think less. that's still the way yeah like uh it's like 16 or well 15 or less mm -hmm. i don't think you have to have it but once you get past that then yeah you you have to have a b why why is why is that because a lot of people a lot of people is really getting away with that, especially, you know, when they, you know, go and buy them a school bus and convert it into like, you know, like a regular, you know, for hire bus. And they can actually get away with, you know, making sure that it's only 15 or less people in there. So they won't have to get their class. Yes. Yeah, st st stand, stand below the radar, you know, and then also it's more money when you have to pay. For your license and so forth. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, but there there's a lot of good things that you can do, especially now. I mean, with Amazon, Amazon got gigs that you can go get you a uh, a straight truck, mm -hmm. and and be killing it. Yeah, and it, and it doesn't matter because I remember one time I was in Texas. I was at the uh, the TA over in. Uh, what is that? I can't. It's at exit five hundred three. I can't remember what city that is right off hand. But I was sitting there having my dinner, and these guys asked me, "Excuse me, are you a truck driver?" And I'm sitting in the truck driver area. You know how TA is. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, "Yeah, I'm a truck driver." It's like, "Well, do you know how to fill out a, a log book?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, I, I I know how to fill out a log book." Wow. And so what happened was they were doing some work for a lady. Mm -hmm. One of them had a rider truck right. and the other one had a U-Haul. And because they admitted that they were doing this work for hire, the scale house that's a little further down the road made them come back and get log books. Wow. Yeah. That was wow. like in 2012. So, so... Man, I mean, you 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 dropping some good information, bro. Because I drove a straight truck before, but I, you know, it was it it was it was a uh, it was air brakes on that on that straight truck, but it wasn't you know it was short enough that I didn't need a a class A license. Well, see, well the the officer based it off of being uh, a vehicle 
over twenty six thousand pounds. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, so so what you're saying is that they had their licenses, but they thought they they didn't have to no. do the the hours of service. I think no, I think they had a class C license, but because they were for hire, now if they had been if they had been moving their own personal belongings, mm -hmm. then it might not have made a difference. Because like you know, you got you got these weekend folks out here with class C license driving a 40 foot bus mm -hmm. towing a boat and a trailer with some bikes on it you know to me, right to me that's a that's doubles and triples but they ain't got it i i i seen people moving uh big ass tour bus size RVs and then having additional maybe 10 foot trailer on the back of it you know i've seen that in these streets man and I'm sitting here like y'all just about as the same size as us, but y'all don't need no y'all y'all don't need no license. They'd be like, no, we didn't, no, what's that? No, I'm like, wow, okay, okay, well, there's so much for that. But uh, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> but 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 but, but class. But let me ask you this though. But but for class B drivers though, are are they still up under the same? Uh, up under the same rules and regulations as a Class A driver. I mean, I I know you said that the uh, that that was you know the scale house made made them to come back and get some law books, but uh, do they really have to keep uh hours of service in a straight truck? Well, if, as far as I know, brother, if if you are doing commerce uh on the roadway mm -hmm. for hire. Yeah. Oh, okay. If it's your personal stuff, I'm not sure, but I believe so. But uh, definitely, if you're doing it for hire, they they yeah you you got to come correct. Wow. Okay. Okay. Now there is some guys out here. You know, I'm you know a couple of YouTubers that's popping up now that's killing it in uh in in the straight truck game, man. So. I'm 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 thinking now, like you know how we talked in the you know in the in the Zello group, you know, is it is it good to go own authority? Is it good to buy a truck? Is it good to you know do all sorts of things? But now that the Bosch trucks is coming into play, what 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 do you think, man? I mean, well, you should, know, I, should, I don't... should people should people still save up for a semi, or should they just go and grab them a, a, a good size boss truck and go from there I would me personally I think it would be a good idea to use that box truck as a stepping stone if they want to go ahead and get into a truck because you I mean you got that then you got people doing the the hot shot work with the dualies mm. you know and 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 that's all a, a good way to to make it because it's like okay stuff on a dually isn't as expensive as stuff on a semi in most cases. Okay. It don't cost as much. Whatever, whatever. You're not buying as much fuel, obviously, you know. Uh, but nowadays, I think it's wide open, man. Because like I said, Amazon and some of these other companies, they have so much work that you can really make it with box trucks. Mm-hmm. That's what's it's just up. all about how creative. It's all about how creative you are. I, I might have to. I might have to. I might have to look into that. <laughs> I might and have then to look too, into uh, that. Uh, side of it is concerned. Uh, ho ho hold on, you 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 breaking up a little bit. Sir? You you breaking up a little bit. Hold hold on. Can you? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still got my side. I still got my side going. I think that's your side over there right now. Okay. Yeah, but uh, um, I think that the FedEx Custom Critical, Panther, and other companies like that with the box trucks is is a good deal too, especially if you own it. Now it was suffering here in 2020 when the pandemic started right but i believe that it's starting to pick back up because you know cecilia and her guy they used to do it if you remember mm -hmm. um i can't think of her handle but yeah they did it for a while and that's still a good way especially uh you know that's another i don't want to say argument but debate 
about doing percentage versus mileage mm -hmm. versus uh, a set run. Mm -hmm. So with, with FedEx Custom Critical, you know, you might get a, this is not an everyday thing, but I've heard tell where somebody went five miles round trip and made 850 bucks. Mm. Yeah. They, you know, that's yeah. not. It's a it's a it's a young lady that I'm that I'm cool with. Uh, her handle is uh, Jiggly Trucker. Uh, she has her oh boy yeah she has her uh, class B. I believe her husband has a class A, and they just uh, they just drive uh, the FedEx like straight truck because you can you can get away uh, driving a FedEx straight truck with a class B license. 